hi and welcome to the fourth part of this tutorial so let's exit out and continue with the functions so this is the very first function that I created earlier for the calculator so let's come in here I'm gonna create another function right underneath there and this is going to be let's say exit and I'm going to create another one after that that would be for resets and there's going to be a couple of more functions anyway so with the exit so let's just go for function I'm going to call that I exit enter parenthesis and semicolon I exit is going to be exit equals taking the following values the key term and that is going to be dot message box dots and that is going to be apps yes or no I think that is fine that's good enough for me all right so in the end I'm just going to enter the following argument so let's say payroll system okay that's going to be for the title and I will now say let's say confirm if you want to exit right that is that's going to be my statement so now let's use a new statement if I exit it's less than zero then let's exit out of the system uh, we'll just say this root dot destroy destroy yeah there we go and uh, we then enter ask the system to return yeah exit taken care of so I'm gonna grab this exit let's go straight into search for the button exits where's button exit somewhere here let's keep coming down right that is it exit should be somewhere we have all oh, no, that's exit right there so right here I'm just gonna say comma command equals I exit that is it done so let's try that out run and we look for a button exit here where is it that is it click on that it's working fine click again yes exit works so let's go back up there all right I'm gonna create another one I'm gonna call this one reset so let's come in here reset comma paste command and I'll just call that reset there we go so reset is there let's go right up here and write that for reset there we go in the case of reset all we just need to do is employ employee employee name dot set there that's one the next one is going to be Oh, I think I have also have for reference and so on so let's say address and um, reference so let's come in here reference there after that we have employ employer employee name and so on so let's speed out 
and that is it so those are all my variables cleared all right okay the next thing is I'm going to now calculate the wages and so on maybe I should just draw another line here let's paste that here and that is going to be pay pay function you can just call it pay, pay or whatever that's fine so we say pay pay reference there okay pay reference first of all we have the variable payday dot set and payday dot set that we take care of the dates dot s so that is time okay string of time so now let's get it modified and that's going to be percentage slash month and we need a year as well percentage one that will be for the year that's the format that I want it okay close that that is for the date payday that goes straight into payday so I'm gonna call this inside pay I've already called it inside payday anyway now the next thing is I'm gonna be calling this inside my function I calculate the money anyway let's go back in here so right here I'm going to say reference pay that will be equals this is going to be for the random right that's we actually generate random numbers for me dot rand I would let's say it's going to be in form of integer and I'm going to make that about Fifteen thousand by up to let's go for about ninety something thousand. It's nine hundred and okay, that's fine. Let's close that. Now uh, we also have reference another local variable reference pay reference paid that is going to be equals rp okay i just want to enter some digits in there rp rp and that is going to be plus string convert that to string and that is going to be ref pay reference pay yeah okay we've got that sorted now this is reference pay i'm now going yeah reference paid i'm, I'm now going to assign that straight into my reference so let's say reference dot set there and that takes care of that okay now take care of the ni and i pay that is going to be random as well and let's grab this instead of writing the old lot paste that in there that's for the random and hmm, let's change that to about 30 something thousand 32 yeah randomize between that so we have five here okay that is fine so and i pay is going to be equals as follows so let's say and i Pay, paid okay and I paid equals 
n i plus combine that to string and that is going to be n i p so this is going to be for my n i reference no n i n i number not n i reference so the system will have to generate that for each individual member of staff so this will be n i p i paid all right and i paid is taken care of all right what about date now date of the month that's the tax period that will give me the tax period so for the tax period let's i'm gonna say i date i date that will be equals date time dot date time dot now enter parentheses and we will then say tax period tax period that will be dot set and what are we setting we're setting it as date now dot the month okay that will give us the exact month dot month okay that's how we find the month that's taken care of as well so come right down here we also need to take care of the okay the n code which will be for ni code you guys can find out more about this uh, codes anyway so i'm gonna grab this let's grab that here yeah grab all of this and just dump it there now that to be for ni code so we can change this to whatever same yeah and I could and uh, I'm just gonna make that. I'm just making this up figures up you know change this okay that's good enough so code code and I that is gonna be equals And I code that's my own abbreviation for that equals convert to string what we're converting is going to be and code there okay now the ni code itself and I code dot set the following value there we go all right that's looking good so let's take care of the tax i tax code i tax code that is equals random grab all of this paste it right there random and i'm gonna make that about 57 let's say 57 okay 5700 it's something and come right here just enter one there all right two two is fine 28,000 plus okay now come right down here all of these will be automatically entered into each of the combo box the choice is yours if you want to do just like that so I'm just doing that the system will generate that for, you, for the end user which can be changed of course so T code no that should be uppercase let's say T code T 
tax code close the tax code plus come back to spring and what is the code is going to be i tax code i tax this i tax in here and close the bracket right so tax code tax code dot set the set and um, what are we setting we are actually setting in there payments tax code in this right in here okay there then we finish with the prepayment function okay so all of these we generate random figures that will be used to populate most of these right here okay most of the stuff right here so if i copy these now let's say we copy this and just paste it on one of those buttons we should be able to populate most of them provide yeah yeah we should be able to do that so let's come right and grab any button at all where is it command yeah i'm going to use delete to try it equals that so we should be able to populate most of them okay now run and go right into there is the lead click there you see that we are able to populate most of this okay we need to take care of all of this so that's fine so get rid of that i'm gonna get rid of this that was supposed to be delete anyway so i might as well just no i don't have delete function yet so get rid of that okay that's just to test out what i've just done in here so what i'm going to do is that very function i'll be calling it inside another payment function so when the payment is in that we enter okay let's come in here and just define i'm going to call it function payment payment function payment function yep. payment function there we go there so with the payment function the first thing I want to do is to call this pay reference come right here grab pay reference and paste that right in here one now I'm going to declare the following local variable. I'm going to call that BS equals. So the BS stands for basic pay equals float basic salary and dot get dot get whatever I have inside the basic salary. So CW equals float that will be get get CT within within dot ing. All right, then the next one is going to be OT OT that will be for all the time. OT right equals the float as follows. Okay, I'm just changing this to overtime. There we go. Okay, so it's just gonna be almost the same thing for all anyway. Now let's come in here and say M tax. That is going to be BS plus CW plus OT. So we just added all of those together. So what we want to now do is assign that to, let's say, tax T tax equals. 
that's a string. Open up a bracket. And uh, that was pounds. Percent dot two. Okay, two decimal place. Yeah, close that and percent again. Okay, and what is that going to be? M tax. M tax should be in bracket though. M tax. All right, that is fine. We now want to set whatever we have inside T tax to tax itself. Come right down, tax dot set equals T tax. So that takes care of the tax. So the same method will be repeated for the same, yeah, almost the same method will be repeated for the pension and so on. So let's speed that up. Okay, the payment function is all taken care of. Let's take it from the top here and just bring it down. So, have a good look at it. As for the pension, okay, we have the student loan payment itself, NI payment, and you need a deduction from your wages, the gross pay, net pay, and taxable. Pension, okay, pensionable pay, taxable pay, and orders. There we go. So, let me look at it. Okay, so like order is 0, 0.0, just in case if you don't add anything, order automatically defaults to 0, 0.0. So, let's call this very function, this very one. We're gonna call it right inside wages the button that i call wages let's go right down here wages there we go come right here enter a comma command equals that i've just called that function so let's save and run just to play around with it and see how that works okay so right in here city waiting allowance wages let's say it's 2000 plus over time there and if i click on this there we go look at that you see that is brilliant right away let's get it populated so all you just need is to enter a name here and the name here automatically appears there address code sex and employee employer's name there we go that is it so one two is working so we need one two three no this one is working now all right that's working so one two three so we need one two three to work as well okay that is good we are almost done that's good Okay, the other function to take care of that is for the add that we add the data straight into the database. There we go, that is it. Add data. Okay, and have a good look at those. So if any of these variables are empty, so this message box will pop up. And that is it. So that is the Host for the database, the root, the password. You can make up your own password. That is the name of my database. If you guys can still recall the database, look at it right here. Payment. So bring it down. And there we go. The system is then asked to insert as follows. So the name of the database is called payment. There we go. Right. And those are the datas. Okay, I've only added 18 of those. Right, once we succeeded in entering the data, this is what will happen. Alright, let's see. Okay, come right down. The next thing is this is to be displayed. So I'm gonna call this 
just by the tree view so I'm not, I might as well just copy that I'm gonna need to call it okay when I click on the tree view that should all the data should appear on all of the widgets okay so come right down as the wages information okay scroll right down that is the updates once it's updated and the database name there it's called payments so that's meant to be payment as well right so just checking to make sure it's all correct okay so that is the updates come right down there we go so that is the delete and that's the all of the, my data okay so we will now call each individual function within their respective buttons so let's go back right down here let's look for the button delete is right here comma and equals delete db i think the db is in purple case here yeah. so that is delete that should be a b purple case now update i want to grab this copy paste that in here update is update yeah yeah i think so let's go up there and just check update update where is it there update it's update what is it right there come right down here where's my update button right here there and the display is going to be display the display we actually be add data yep yeah? add data come right down here add data will display all of the information that I want add data and that is it so let's see that yeah, it's fine okay so i'm going to run that so let's go back to the function again so that you guys can see all of the functions before running it this is the calculator function the exit function underneath reset function now pay reference function function for the tax and so on and the wages okay pension wages student loan ni number deduction and net pay right there add the data straight into the database okay display data i need to call this one let's grab this i'm gonna call that let's come in here where is my there you go right underneath here and i also need i'm gonna call this very one where is the function right here what did i call it wage information i'm gonna call wage information right in here there we go right okay the whole idea in here is when i click on any of the column it will display all the information on my on all of the widgets so let's run this now so all of the functions are in place that delete update let's update there okay now come right down here 
the wages information, wage information. Display data. Okay, so all we just need to do now is to run it. So let's click on run. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to enter name in there, employee name that is going to be Harry. Harry Moon. Address of Harry Moon 47. Good. Harry's mail an employee of Harry that is we call that King's Land. Okay, and waiting allowance the wages a month over time and there let's see extra pay click on wages see all the calculation yeah that is correct and here this is display the woman that oh is successful that's good let's come in here you see that right there so we're gonna have to check the database as well so let's come straight into the database this is the database nothing is showing so I'm gonna refresh there we go look at it straight into the database guys it is working fine so minimizer that is fine so let's reset now reset enter another data and let's say the name is Paul Owen We're working for all all well aviation Alright, close code. Mail and wages. Let me give myself more wages. Oh, that's a lot. A lot of money. And here, there we go. Click on wages. There, man. Employee. We need to. Employee name. Oh, all well should be okay. Number, what about all well variations? And this employee is going to be a, a, a aviation. Okay, let's make it, make it up. Now that is it. All taking place. All taken care of. Now let's say we multiply these. Oh no, play that. This multiply by this, we get that and click on display. There we go, successful. Now let's check here. There. Okay, Paul, always a vision, all the necessary details is right there. And let's go back to, we can add whatever we want to add in here. Okay, and let's come right in here check out our database that is the database click on refresh there we go let's pull all these details there and that's it so that is fine so the system is working as expected so I know it's a lot it's long water it's actually actually it's worth it it's a very nice system payable management system with it with embedded database so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of the brilliant tutorial and please do subscribe to my channel and uh, you can also join to become a member of the channel there are a lot of benefits if you are a member of the channel and I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to all my channel member for their support thank you and you all have a nice day now and bye for now